Good morning, church. It's March the th uh, 16th, and we're in Matthew chapter 13, verses 33 through 35. And uh, this is another one of Jesus' parables. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like leaven that a woman took and hid in three measures of flour till it was all leavened. All these things Jesus said to the crowds in parables. Indeed, he said nothing to them without a parable. This was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet. I will open my mouth in parables, and I will utter what has been hidden since the foundation of the world. So Jesus uses things from nature like leaven, like the mustard seed, like the dragnet of the seashore, like this uh, parable of the sower. And he takes things that are known and he puts a twist on them. And those who follow him or his disciples who are blood-bought redeemers have this ability to have understanding. Their hearing isn't dull. They're, they can perceive. But to the religious leaders, they couldn't really get at what these parables were saying. So he's using this technique of going from the known to the unknown, like a good teacher. Uh, most people agree that this parable is dealing with the transformational work of the power of God and the spirit of God in someone's life. Now, the Jewish people saw leaven as something that was evil. The, the, um, what they would do is they would take a, a piece of dough that had been used, and so there's a, a fermentation, a putrefaction process going on, and this would be put in the three, the three measures of bread, and it would um, then leaven the whole lump, as Paul talks about in Galatians. And, and so, so Jesus is what he's getting at here is that uh, the transformative power of the work of God, the, the power of God, the Spirit of God. And there's a sense in which this transform, transformative power is hidden or unseen and seen. We know in the Christian's life, it transformed the individual. There's a, a passage in 1 Corinthians 6, 9, and 10 where Paul is listing all of these sins uh, that the Corinthians had. And, and he said, but you are transformed. This isn't you anymore. And so he transform, uh, this transforms the life of the individual. It improved the lot of women when Christianity came into the world. Women were uh, viewed as property, having no rights, so it improved their lives. Uh, it improved the family unit. Marriage was uh, so ended in divorce. It was common in the culture for uh, a new marriage to every year. And so this made it hard on the children, so Christianity help the lives and uh, influence positively uh, children. Uh, in that culture, children were often discarded uh, if they were um, not born a, a male. If they were a woman or a girl, they were discarded. If they were ill or sickly, uh, they were discarded. And Christianity improved uh, the lot of the elderly. For elderly people were viewed as something to be discarded as well. Christianity took the brokenness in people and made it better. Uh, some of the, one of the first um, asylums for blind people was founded by a Christian. One of the first hospitals was founded by a Christian. One of the first free dispensaries was founded by a Christian. And I could go on and on. So, there's this sense that this parable, this leaven, is unseen and seen. So picture it like a river. Uh, you 
you can sometimes see a river and it's flowing above and you can see it and then it can go underground for a while and then pop out again. And so you don't know what it's doing while it's underground. Well, that's kind of the way uh, the power of God is also. And so Jesus is using this parable to get us to see this in a different light. And praise the Lord, we have the Holy Spirit who can illuminate God's word to us. We have the church who can help us uh, study God's word and come up with a greater meaning and we can apply this to our lives. That's all I have for now. God bless you.